Hey, day 23 of the Summer of Wonder. We're just heading out out of Billings, Montana, where I've spent a quick night on my way to Wheatgrass Books, a charming little bookstore in downtown Livingston, Montana, where I have a signing today from 11 to two. Can't wait. Come along for the ride, as always. Who knows where we're going from there. Today is going to be a surprise to me as well. So glad you're with us on the Summer of Wonder Day 23. Three weeks and counting. All right, we just arrived in Livingston for our book signing. Max is so happy to have found green grass for a little roll. All right, this is the block where my sweet little bookstore is. Wheatgrass is right there. Gifts, books, and art. So cute. My book signing at Wheatgrass Books was really fun. I love the store. It was definitely a hub of downtown busyness, people coming and going all day. Lexi had a blast. She, of course, was the star of the show. It's always really cool to see my books being displayed and to just talk to people who are interested in solo travel. It's the best. Driving through downtown Livingston, Montana. It is the quintessential Western town. I just had a book signing. It was really fun. Loved the people. Loved just getting to talk to the folks. And uh, what a fun bookstore. Lex and I are in search of a home for the evening. No clue exactly where that's going to be. I have a tip from a traveling friend who suggested Pine Creek Campground. The likelihood that the one or two first come first serve spaces aren't taken is very tiny, but it's a beautiful drive and we're just gonna go see. And I have, I'm feeling pretty good. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, so we've got lots of time for now. I could still be saying this at nine o'clock tonight, but for now, we're just exploring. I'm on a new road and you know, if you know me, you know that that makes me happy. Sort of headed towards Yellowstone. Maybe we end up in Yellowstone tonight. I have no idea. And for whatever reason, I'm feeling adventurous. So we'll figure it out. I just know God's got a plan for me. I don't know what it is yet, but he'll let me know. If you've been following along with me and with Lexi over the last couple of weeks, maybe you're getting tired of mountain views. Well, I'm not still going to show them to you because they're new ones. We are north of Yellowstone about 50 miles in Montana and I just never get tired of the mountains. Okay so strike one on Pine Creek Campground. It was highly unlikely we were going to find a spot there so awesome campground host. He and his buddy um, gave me a bunch of other ideas and we're turning around and going a different direction. And as I've learned on this trip that, especially out west, national forest campgrounds are great and they're a little bit more out of the way in many cases. So I've had great success with them during this whole trip. So we're going to, instead of going south into Yellowstone through Gardner, Montana, we're gonna turn around and go out towards Bozeman and then head south into Gallatin National Forest and there are a bunch of campgrounds out that way so maybe we'll find a spot if we don't we're gonna end up out towards West Yellowstone and there's always the possibility of having to spend money to get a hotel or maybe even a last-minute Airbnb that is my last resort but knowing that it's there tonight We'll find a place to stay. I'm not worried that I'm not going to have a place to stay. So I'm still willing to chalk it up as adventure. So let's go. It's actually not full. Maybe it is now, but we got the last spot. We found our home for the night. Spire Campground near Big Sky in Montana on a beautiful little stream. Good day. It's in Custer Gallatin National Forest, and I'm guessing this is the spire reason. All these. It's very rocky. I stick by my assessment that Montana is just one giant rock. Hi. 
Max and I are just taking a little stroll through our campground. So, not surprisingly, we've been told there's a bear. Two of them, actually. Because there's lots of berries around. So, I don't know. Apparently they haven't been around in the last couple days, but even still, darn it. Okay, everybody, so this is a lesson in being willing to try something new, partly out of common sense, maybe, uh, or else it's just a little bit of anxiety. Well, no, there's anxiety. I'm kind of tired of thinking about bears in my campground, and I really need a good night's sleep. And so I decided to see if my air mattress will in fact fit in the back of my SUV full on. So that means Lexi and I sleeping on the air mattress and the rest of it being pretty empty. So here's what that looks like in reality. I don't know if the air mattress is gonna fit yet, but here's how the rest of it works. So I've emptied the back of my SUV, which hasn't been empty since before I left home. So it's kind of messy here, but I, it will definitely accommodate the air mattress going this way. I just don't know if it'll go left to right. So we're gonna see. The question is, what did I do with all the stuff? Well, we have a bear box here. So anything that could possibly have any smell or, you know, just I didn't have room for it in the car. It's either on the bear box, which is stuff that has absolutely no smell. This is completely empty of stuff. It's just storage now. And then anything food related. So, and of course, a poster. So this puppy and I are gonna see if we can fit back here. Okay, it worked. So it's not perfect and the whole thing is a little bit too wide, but it is definitely going to serve a purpose tonight and it's gonna be amazing. So how about that? A little ingenuity, a lot of moving, but in the end, it's shorter than putting up a tent and I will feel a ton more secure tonight. So time to build a fire and just chill. So I have two and a half days to get myself from Gallatin National Forest, which is just south of Bozeman, Montana, down through all of Wyoming and halfway through Colorado to Breckenridge by Tuesday afternoon. So it's a lot of time to do what's probably at a straight shot about 10 hours of driving, maybe 11. So I'm excited about the adventure of tomorrow. We're going to skirt the left side of Yellowstone and go all the way down that way, I think. Maybe go over to Idaho. I don't know. Isn't it fun to not know and to just kind of decide as you go? So let's wrap up day 23, Summer of Wonder, road trip through the Rockies. We have really, I totally enjoyed today. Love meeting the people, doing the book signing, and then exploring on some new roads and taking a little bit of a detour to go down into the uh, Custer Gallatin Forest. So here we are, at Spire Rock, it's beautiful. I built a roaring fire. It's probably my last one for a while. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Hope you'll join us for day 24. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet on the Wondering Travel YouTube channel, please do so. Love having you along for the ride. This whole epic adventure is based on my book, There's Wonder Around the Bend. So if you're interested in solo travel or just Western travel, check out the link below. You can order yours on Amazon. It will change you. There's no doubt. Give it a try.